Notice that Mercury, which is 100 times closer than Pluto, has a centripetal acceleration which is 10,000 times larger than Pluto. 100 times closer has a 10,000 times larger centripetal acceleration. So what I did was I plotted this data, the centripetal acceleration versus the mean distance to the sun, and I did that on log-log paper. And what immediately strikes, is very striking, is that all these points, I've done them for all the planets, they fall on a straight line. And so what is the slope of that line? Well, I tried various slopes and I found that the slope is very, very close to minus two. Here is a slope of minus two and I can overlay this and notice that the fit is absolutely stunning. Therefore, you cannot escape the conclusion that the centripetal acceleration, which is the result of gravity, falls off as one over r squared. Uh, we refer to this often in physics as the one over r square law, and therefore the effect of gravity itself must go down with r squared. So if you are hundred times further away, like Pluto compared to Mercury, the gravitational, the, the centripetal acceleration, which is due to gravity, is ten thousand times smaller.